There they go. Boom, 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 boom. Y'all is just ready, and I love that for us. Okay. Yo, yeah, what's going on? How are y'all? Good. Good. Sleepy. Sleepy than a bug, girl. This is crazy over here. I need a little bit of something, you know, a little bit of caffeine drip. If you will, <laughs> that ain't working. That ain't working. We passed that. <laughs> but, oh, that ain't gonna work. <laughs> we somewhere else. <laughs> she going stronger. Stronger. <laughs> yeah. We gonna go stronger with it. Well, I was just telling everybody. Obviously, bigger is back. Okay, season two. Y'all are ready. Y'all are giving it. We're not gonna spoil nothing for those who are like late watchers <laughs> ah. and haven't binged yet. <laughs> really not sure what what else are y'all doing. Like you're not leaving the house. But y'all have to have had watched season one by now. I ain't gonna spoil that either, cause I'm a good person. <laughs> but, <laughs> but by now, y'all have had to see season one. It was just ah, y'all. <laughs> like there was so much going on in the show. Y'all represent just black girlfriendhood through and through. My jaw was on the floor. For some portions of season one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Oh, oh, those scenes. You know, when 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 Lane got hers, you know, when you when you got what you needed to get, um, that really satisfied me in a lot of ways. And then, <laughs> not satisfied then, you in a lot of ways. In a lot of ways. Very shout out to Terrence. We do love him. Um, and then your character Lane out here with her bestie. Oh, yeah. Lane, you know, I love her. And I really, you know, I understand the dragons, but I wish they would stop after people watch season one. Um, find somebody else to drag in season two. It's other people well, to know. drag. It's all kinds well, you of you know, black women can't be out here just living free and having a good time without getting criticized. Okay? Here we go. That's the let's, tea. Let's, that's the hot tea. Feel that's it. the real tea. Like, yeah. every little black woman show we have seen and we have seen black women be sexually liberated, yes. um, sexually open, and just like all this, it, it just, it gets dragged. Don't do us. Let us be free. Like everybody else. <laughs> Give us a carefree moment. Let us, be, we, exactly, we, let we us be hard for that. We've worked hard for that. And plus we are a lot of things, which is one of the things that I love most about Bigger is that each and every one of y'all's characters represents black women being a lot of things mm -hmm. and not just this one note even you right. sis the reality show you get it mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. you still got depth and you still yeah. have like flavor to it you know what i mean so that's one of the like major points of the show is that the cast is like really well done well i have um, to give some is. credit to the writers on that too because they did yeah. an excellent job making sure that all of our characters were like Mad relatable and well written, and not caricatures of black women or black men, mm -hmm. like whole people with real problems and real thoughts. So shout outs to our shout outs to our writers; they're excellent on that show. Yes, shout out to the bigger writers because y'all be doing it. <laughs> Clearly, you took the the just the pen went crazy <laughs> on season two. Like I said, there will be no spoilers, but let's go through for all of those who may be in here and not aware of who you beautiful ladies are. We'll start with you, Angel, and we'll work our way around. Share okay. who you are and who you play. I'm Angel Conwell. I play Veronica Yates. Veronica Yates is the real estate. Uh oh, hey, a little Ron. She's the real estate. <laughs> <laughs> She's the real estate agent of the bunch. She's the one who likes to, you know, be in control. They call her the boss. You know, she's like a boss babe. She has, she, like, she has her career on lock. You know, constantly growing. She normally, normally with season two, it might be a little bit of a switch up without giving away too much. But she normally keeps her career, her profession at the forefront. That's her priority. But, you know, she might jump out of her comfort zone a bit in season two. I won't spoil it. Right. Because we, we're good people. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we're good but I mean, I you can do that. Was good. It's spoiler free. That I did spoiler free. All okay. right, let's go. Let's let's go on to your next now, Tanisha. Tell us who you are and who you play. My name is Tanisha Long. I play Lane Roberts. She is very quirky and confused 
And she speaks to the camera a lot because sis is never it. listening to her own voice or speaking her real voice in real life. In her head, though, she keeps it very, very, very real. So <laughs> that's, that's, that's the camera situation you see on the show. Um, she's very creative. She loves fashion. I wish she would get her life together. But as an actor, I also don't. I love how crazy and unstable she is. It's so fun. Exactly. It's so fun. I love it. I love that she's a little loosey goosey and all over the place. I, I just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little loosey. I'm gonna start saying that interview. So like, you know, she's a little loosey goosey. She's just a little having loosey -goosey. fun, living life. I love it. And last but not least, our girl Rashida looking good over there. Look at her. Look, checks are it's a ring light. Go ahead, girl. Go ahead. <laughs> and a filter. Hi, everybody. My name is Rashida Crockett. I play Tracy Davis on the show, uh, bigger on BET Plus. Uh, Tracy is a social media influencer trying to do bigger. She is a former reality star who uh, gets dissed and played a lot by the producers on the show. And uh, yeah, she's out here in season two trying to make something out, into something bigger. <laughs> she is. <laughs> she is definitely trying to make it bigger. And I love, love, love your character. Oh, no. Angel, Angel. <laughs> Angel, okay. come back. Angel, come back. This is my first time. You can go out the room. On my phone. I thought I could do it from my laptop. I was like, oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wow. Wow. I okay. can't go live from my computer. You got another delivery? I do. What? Oh, you guys want to see what it wait. is? Hold on one second. Go get whatever it is. See, this is, this is very <laughs> classic Tracy right now. Like, this is a reality show. Oh, oh my <laughs> goodness. You have a flower delivery from BC. Oh, you want us to put it somewhere? They're so wet. You oh. On the top of there? Yes, I'm gonna please. I'm gonna Say hi. 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 Ooh, these are big, girl. Oh. I got a flower delivery from BET. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah, we can put it right here. Oh, thank, thank wow. you guys. Look at this. They spent yeah. some coin on the flower arrangement because it's, it's Wait gigantic. A it's gigantic. Yay for Rashida. <laughs> that is huge. Somebody it's bigger. Thank you. Listen, so I was just, you just said it was from a man, honey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Have y'all ever gotten a floral arrangement? I'm that the florist. My card is there. My name is Glory. This is Carol. Are we here? God bless y'all. Thank you so much. No promo. <laughs> Thank you. Take Bye. care. I've never gotten one that big from a man now. That, <laughs> that's, that's, that's hey, big head. What's up? <laughs> Wowzers. What the timing? Okay, get your flowers, sis. I, literally, they, they're giving me my flowers. I uh... look, BET Plus is in the room. Shout out to y'all. That was sweet. Oh, that was. That's how y'all do it. Take notes. If there's any any uh, gentlemen callers in the room, take note. That is how you do it. Okay. <laughs> I love that. So let's get into the love and relationships portion mm -hmm. of Bigger. I thought you never asked. Y'all stressed me out over there. Okay, so. <laughs> That's Felicia's fault. She's mm. the one. I'll Right? I will blame because, listen, I know that a lot of these shows typically – surround the woman with the whole idea of her chasing a man, meeting a man, getting a man. And it's a lot of the thread of, of being a, a young woman is that, you know, especially our uterus makes our clock tick. So we do think, you know, about looking for men in, in a certain age, right? And I know that we have this like princess thing in our heads and we want to find our prince. And especially uh, with Lane, watching her have Greg, who y'all know is like a nice good, guy good on paper, good guy. Good guy. Everything is doctor. great. Like nothing's wrong. Good dude. There's some stuff wrong. Come on. There's some stuff wrong with Greg. Let's let's there's do some stuff there's wrong. Some stu there's some stuff wrong with Greg. But it's a safe choice. It's the choice yeah. your mama would like be yes, marrying that good man. Greg but got money. Greg got money and Greg got stability and Greg loves Lane. <laughs> right? So, All the good things. That's why I was like, so, you, sound like Greg. you sound so. like <laughs> <laughs> but with it, with Greg having all the parts and Lane not being there for it, it makes everybody kind of question the idea of like settling with the guy that's good on paper versus going for someone with passion or waiting out for passion. In your lives, how do you typically lean good on paper or passion? 
I just want both. That's all I ever want is both. If one thing's missing, like if you're passionate and you're a dumb dumb or you don't respect me, then to the curb you go. <laughs> That's my rule. I don't tolerate any tomfoolery in my life. No, no time for it. Cut off game strong. I heard it. <laughs> See you. Block. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. <laughs> What about you, Angel? What, what, how do you do? How do I passionately lean? I mean, you know, it, what, it's nice to find the balance, but I do think I, I normally lean towards passion on paper. You know, I, I heard nowadays everybody's writing this prayer. There's like, you know, everybody got their prayer for, that's the paper prayer <laughs> for what they want in a man. But uh, no, I think I typically go towards passion. I meet someone and be like, it's just a vibe. It's mm -hmm. just a vibe. <laughs> this wasn't, a, this wasn't on my paper, but it's a vibe. But them vibes, girl. So child. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of vibe are you talking about, Angel? What kind of what vibes are you talking about? They don't be reliable. <laughs> <laughs> Those are unreliable vibes. Vibes be unreliable. <laughs> Which is why I, there's no rings on my finger. Hi. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> like, I feel you. I feel you deep. I mean, look, our good sis over here getting flowers in the middle of the interview, but it wasn't from a man. That was from work. So uh, <laughs> that's better than flowers from a man. That's like celebrating a huge achievement in your life. That's so much right. better than flowers right. from a man. You right. Like, right. come on. Like, true. Being a better. Yeah, they're there. <laughs> they're always there. They're always around. It's, Girl, not worth it. that's exactly how I feel. So, like, we ain't doing settling around no. here because it's 2021. There's really no need. And we have seen the world shut down, and we have seen how short life can be. Mm. Ain't no need mm -mm. to settle down. So across the board, Tanisha, you're not a settler either. Mm -mm. Not no. like that. Not built like that. No, no, I'm not built like that. I'd be like, get I out of here. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'd be like, bye. Thank you. See you, <laughs> friends. That was look. Cool. Well, peace, Tommy. <laughs> as we can see, your character Lane don't settle. She cheated. <laughs> that, that I don't do. Okay, that's where we are That's where I don't really get into that kind of game. You don't, I don't, do you don't that. go that way with it. I don't go that way. Yeah. <laughs> Anymore. It was not a one time thing. I'm coming. I'm in the show. Okay. Yeah. All right. But, yeah. But is it like, do y'all, do you think that cheating in relationships, like, is it more so of a reoccurring situation versus one time thing? I think if a guy cheats on you, the likelihood is he will cheat again. Yeah. Like, I'm not mature enough to forgive and keep going in that. See, I don't I think that when you're not really, like, when you're not in a situation and you built a, you know what I mean? Because I, I do think it's possible to forgive. I think it's possible for somebody to come back from a mistake. It's, you know, I think it's possible. One time, but two times, what's the, what's the saying? Once, shame on Shame on you. Or something like Listen, that. Something like more that. than once means that's your character. And I just. It's a choice. It's but a I feel like also okay. people don't last 10, 20, 30, 40 years getting up and walking away every time somebody cheats. I mean, <laughs> I don't need 40 years if you're going to cheat. I don't, but I'm not a 40. I don't know if that's who I am anyway. So cheating is oh. not okay. Not a long haul. <laughs> no, I don't think it's about okay. that because. Honestly, like we're black women of a certain age. I'm sure our parents, grandparents, all that we've we've seen the less stay together, less keep being in it, despite all the things that be happening and the fa a whole nother family in certain <laughs> certain situations. Mm -hmm. And uh, you were just saying, Tanisha, that you don't stick around um, for that kind of stuff. And I'm curious, like, have we gotten out of the just work it out? Are we like a frivolous generation of people that just be like, nah, I'm out? Yeah, I'm petty like that. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I can go ahead and say I'm extremely petty. And no, seriously, if, if I feel like something's done to me out of disrespect, then it's very hard for me to look past that. It's just like, there's only so many times you can disrespect me and not treat me as your equal before I'm like, okay, this doesn't make any sense. Like, what am you I just, doing? Yeah, we you don't said fit. a valuable thing. Treat me as your equal. That's yeah. all. And I think it's nothing wrong with being like, all right, cool. That was the time we had together. That was the time it worked. And then when it didn't, it doesn't. And you go be with somebody else. I think right. there's nothing wrong with that. Also, I'm not like 
a person that's like, I have to get married and have kids and da 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 da. So like that works for me. But like other people might be in different places and think differently. Are y'all Angel and Rashida? Are y'all in that on, on that boat of children and let's get married and stay together and be together? I want children. I would like to be married someday. Um, I don't want to be married to a man who's gonna do me wrong, but <laughs> I would like to be in a healthy relationship. It, it sounds nice. Yeah, it sounds it sounds nice. <laughs> that is it. it sounds nice. Okay. It sounds like something I could. Sounds try. like something I'd be into. <laughs> South, being from the South, I feel like it's family is such an element. It's an important element. Like, you know, so I mean, I would like it, but I'm also very much God's plan. Like, well, let's see what God has in store. If that's what I want, what God wants for me. You Listen, don't I, don't, I don't really think God wants multiple. side dudes for I us. I really think God wants us to be fruitful and multiply, but I feel like we, we each have our individual journeys. Facts. You know? Listen, <laughs> we all have, we our, all have our, our journeys. Specific. And before I cheat, especially ongoing, I'm gonna be like, I really don't think I should be in this. <laughs> something else is wrong. It's something else, it's not, I'm cheating a lot and I really feel. <laughs> no, I'm cheating a lot and I really feel like this cheating I really feel like this is not. <laughs> it's a lot of cheating. It's like, oh, it's a, pro it's a problem. Anything. Right? Like, I just, but it, I, we laugh, but there's a lot of men out here. <laughs> The and do that and re and just it keeps happening like there was a rapper that made the blogs recently because he put on his social media on his insta stories like i can't stop cheating on my girl and it was just kind of like why embarrass her that's so mean that's so thing. much wrong about all of it <laughs> when they post that stuff that's like i cheated on this girl 18 times but I love her. I'm so thankful she took me back. Here she is, y'all. I tagged her in the picture. Look how dumb she looks. Like, <laughs> don't, she's like, like, don't include she's me. She's in the picture me like, up. yes. I'm like, why do y'all do that to women? Go to therapy. Like, that's it. Like, but go there to are therapy. People, there are people who think that the staying is resilience. It's strength of the love. It's tried and true. It's tested. Like, a lot of people hold uh, pride around like loyalty and staying and all of that there's just such a fine line between loyalty and like loyalty to someone else and disloyalty to yourself come on like it's such a fine that's line. Word. so you, you know and, and and everybody and and that's gonna look different to each person I, I mean it's just it's too tough to judge anybody else's choice anybody else's choice to stay anyone else's choice to leave it's just you know everything is just so specific oh yeah but, like Toxicity levels can get real high real quick. You start expecting too much. And once you start accepting too much, I think. I think it's yeah, because I, and that's also why they they would continue to do that behavior. It's mm -hmm. like they keep getting away with it, or everybody like it's cool. We're not going to talk about it. Yeah, and it's unsanitary. It's just it's just, it just come on now. <laughs> My germs, their germs. I don't even know. I those really feel germs. like the one, the right one, won't even be won't be won't even be inclined to do those things to someone that they really want to be with mm -hmm. so if someone is it keeps cheap it's like there's something within them that's just mm -hmm. not really ready to be in the relationship you know what i mean like they're trying to out. tell you they want out they're like let me out yeah like, Un please like trying to break right. the door down like you are telling me free. <laughs> unconsciously they're like trying to get out like mm -hmm. help right looking for it out yeah don't Maybe. do me like that just don't get in the relationship with me okay. leave me alone Cool. <laughs> if you don't love me, right. you don't talk to me. <laughs> Free yourself. They don't, they don't know. They don't know. They're just doing whatever. Yeah. They're just like, no, and no. their favorite is it wasn't my intention to hurt you or whatever crazy <laughs> stuff they say. They just be out here lying. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, let me, let me, say, let me say what happened. They just out here lying. Let me just sit this on your spirit to get it off of mine. Okay, so. <laughs> I just recently met a dude, right? This man, and I, I live in Brooklyn, um, but I'm not in Brooklyn right now. I'm in St. Martin. Hey, vacation. But I, uh, <laughs> I was just vacation. walking. I was just walking to the grocery store. This man is honking. He hops out the car. He crosses the street to get to me. And I'm like, oh, okay, let me, a real chase like this. And he was just like spitting game. 
oh, I love you. I love everything about you. I'm going to do my best to get you this, that, and the third. And I was just like, okay, this is great, whatever. And he had the nerve to tell me, first of all, I wasn't excited. Second of all, <laughs> I, Wait, I wasn't. He told I wasn't. He told you were supposed like, to be, I guess. Yeah. It really offended me a little bit because he was like, you don't seem, he was like, you don't seem excited. Okay. Yeah. Is this what y'all are doing out here in the streets right now? Like, is this how y'all are approaching women? And then has, like, I promise you, he sent me a text that said, what you doing? The man that jumped out of the car, ran across the street, told me he would do everything to get me, did nothing. The bare minimum. Yeah. Sounds, it sounds like a man. I mean, what? And I just feel like, just leave me alone then. Like, I am not asking. They don't know how to do To be that. interrupted. They don't know how to do that. For this. So I'm just like, are we in a, in, we're just in a, a space where people's dating even to get it initiated is like, no. Oh. Yeah. I think <laughs> there it might be a bit of a pandemic of dudes not coming correct. Um, judging That's from the pandemic. My Give me my mask for that. <laughs> <laughs> I need social distancing for that. But yeah. But then, you know, sometimes it, what is a good way to like approach a woman? Because some guy reached out to me in my DMs and he's an artist and he asked me to come to one of his shows and I said, okay, well, when is it? And then he wrote me back and he said, I would love it if you could be my, um, I, I would love to like paint you or if you could be my subject. And I, I didn't respond. I read it. I didn't respond. And then he wrote back, okay. And I was like. Oh, he wrote back, okay, to your non-response? To leaving him on red. And I was like, I get, did I do something wrong? And then I was like, you probably shouldn't care. This is strange. <laughs> Like, <laughs> I don't, you're not obligated to entertain that man. What right? do you want? I, it's just, and we all know what they want, so that's a silly question. And but like, thought, like, yo, this is, I'm an artist and I'm offering to paint her. This is sexy. And it very well could have been. Honestly, it could, it could, it could have worked. <laughs> but I if, feel like yeah, he, if you come correct, yeah, it still wasn't correct. It wasn't a real attempt. I feel like a lot of it is empty attempts. And I can't read your mind, but I think what it is is that on men's minds, they always want to have sex. So, like, <laughs> they, and they can't just come out and say that because they know you won't be down. So they, they, they have this weird way of communicating because they don't want you to know what they're thinking. Because what they're thinking is they want to sleep with you. I know. And we're supposed to know that, but, like, but well, I always, we want to sleep with them too. So like, thanks. why is it so complicated? Like we all want to so have sex doing? with each other. So why are we making this so difficult? Like, I, I don't know. We do make it difficult. And it's like, that's why like bigger really like spoke to me because I felt myself in so many ways, just the, like the tiny frustrations that you deal with within your relationship those little mistakes you make when you really do love that best friend and you start looking at him, you're like, wait a minute, man. <laughs> like, it just, like, those little moments that happen, I was like, yeah, that sh does happen. <laughs> and it happens a lot. And I just, I mean, listen, friends with benefits is one thing. But best friend turned benefit, I feel mm. like it's a totally different ball game. That's a mess. That's what that is. <laughs> That's a big old mess. That's, That's right. you ruin your friendship. Yes. Ruin your Have y'all done that? Have y'all because you're supposed to be friends with people, right? Like you're supposed to be friends with the people that you date. Right. Essentially. Is yeah. it is important? Yeah. I don't know. I'm a t I'm terrible because I get to the point, especially when it's like if I meet you and it's like I want to date you, I don't usually let a friendship happen. I'm all I'm already like going down the lane of like girlfriend, and well, I don't know why I want to treat it differently. Yeah, but you want to be able to like have fun and stuff with your dude. So I guess you want to be like friends in that regard. But I I dated one guy who I was friends with 
first. And um, yeah, it probably could have been something great had time allowed it to sort of progress. He eventually passed away pretty young. But, um, and we were really taking our time. Like we had known each other since like fifth grade. Oh, but, wow. um, oh God, it's turned into a therapy session. I'm done. But now that's like, that sounds, <laughs> this sounds like it's emotional, sis. <laughs> yeah, but I don't, no, but I like, don't know. I mean, you it have to I marry that it. person, right? Don't you have to marry that person? Because right. you lost your friend at that point, right? It's just right. like, if y'all don't work, if you start fighting, if they do something, God forbid, like cheat on you, then that's, you know, how are you going to be friends with them after that? Yeah. See, Urban, Urban Elegant said you always have a foundation of friendship. And mm -hmm. I do believe that. I just don't know how to navigate it properly if I'm looking at you as a potential boo. Right. I don't do the friend thing. I don't know. And I would and like to, I think. Yeah. But I, it just, I think it would make things so complicated because then how do you keep from being friend zoned? It just have to be a ton of communication, sounds like. Yeah. A ton of communication. Like genuine, open hearted, mature. mature <laughs> you can't be mature and petty, though. I, I know. I know. Oh, I know. He's like, no, they have to I be know. mature. I could be petty. I know about that. Right. You My therapist you. tells me this all the time. <laughs> you, you sound like her. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I pay you, okay? I do what I want. I pay you to tell me that I can do what I want. No. That's how that works. Nah. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get my puppy. She's chewing on a basket. I'll be right back. <laughs> there's, too much of a question, but there's too much of a question mark. Maybe it until it's super clear. Like, oh, <laughs> oh, look at she literally was chewing on a basket so she's been up since two and like she's taking like three naps but she's acting like a psycho so I just had to get her I'm sorry <laughs> she's over there chewing on the basket with my workout stuff in it and she's like, like girl that, I need that I've never seen her do that before so I don't know what's going on she's in her feelings so I'm just gonna try and calm her down a little bit I'm sorry it's like what is going on she's working today too and she's mad about it yeah, she's really Get your money, honey, bunny. I was about to say, exactly. Bring all the money. Get that money, honey. Get that money. <laughs> <laughs> so we were talking a little bit about like the friends with benefits, and then friends turn lovers, and friends turn complications. And we saw that in uh, your in Lane's relationship with Dion, and like. Like I said, it stressed me out a little bit. But I saw, like, I could see it, and I feel, I felt where she was going with it. And I'm not saying that I've done that or anything, but. <laughs> not someone you know may have done it. A Somebody person you I are know, close to. A lot, of pe a lot of people I know. A lot of people it. you know have done it. Okay, I understand. But feelings get caught. Yeah. I mean, you love each other as friends, so it's like especially from like college into being in your mid thirties, like all the things you go through together in that time period, there's no way not to be in love with each other. And then you want to do it to each other too, on top of it. So like, there's no way to ignore that. The, the two of them, we're going to have to sort that out eventually, no matter what. Right. Like, like I, I've, I've never really seen friends with benefits work for real, for real on like for a long time. Mm -hmm. It sounds cute in the beginning. I feel like for most, it's like, oh, yeah, that's cute. Oh, yeah, I can do Wait, hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Who is that calling your phone? And like, wait, I, that's not <laughs> part of friends with benefits. Like, you do not. I shouldn't be invested, but I don't want to fight. Uh, yeah. Or even if you are really good friends the way that Lane and Dion are, and you know these people, like, you might know, like, that there's a chick that he's dealing with. I just, ugh. That's, that's too much yeah, information. Like, that's it too much information. Like it sucks. Like, because you want the love to last and it doesn't sound like it'll last that way. And then you want the friendship to last and it doesn't sound like the friendship is going to last. Most of the time, the friendship's done. You ain't got no love. You ain't got no friend. It just sounds like a lose, lose, lose. That's why you only sleep with people you aren't friends with. <laughs> The moral of the story. Can somebody type that so I can pin it? Literally. <laughs> that's it. Seriously. Like you only sleep with people you don't know. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can stop don't talking to them when you want to talk to them without that's any like, bad advice. feelings about it. <laughs> that's great advice, Rashida. Don't you take that back. That was great. Okay? What are you talking about? We all agree. Everybody in the comments. Look, they're all like, that's it. Look, that's the truth. That's the truth. 
I keep oh, going. don't gas me, uh, Bree. So cool. That <laughs> they get it though. They get it because the feelings do get all caught up, and then it's like, well, can you even go back to being just friends once you've crossed the line? Y'all done bump the uglies, and now the feelings are in there. <laughs> But, like, can you reverse it back to just straight-up friendship? It's possible. <laughs> if, if both parties maybe move on, it might be possible. But then there's always that undercurrent of... Mm, right. Maybe. And I think in the, in the sense of, like, how y'all's characters are, like, a group of friends. You know, like, if it's, like, a group of friends and it's, like, they're, everybody is mutually friends... And then the two get together, and then that is a mess. And it's like, it has to be worked on because that's like the group of friends. Yeah. But if it's, it's like totally random, weird. I'd be like, you know what? I ain't talking to him no more. <laughs> <laughs> Blocked. <laughs> block him on everything. Block, 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 block. <laughs> yeah, I don't talk to him no more. He, who? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. What do I bring to the who? Yeah, I don't, um, no, I don't, I don't, know don't talk to him anymore. I don't know who that is. Um, <laughs> start phone. What's his face? What's his face? Yeah. What's his face? Yeah. Oh, what's his face? Mm -hmm. Ryan. Who? I talked to him years. What's, what's, oh, and then you want your other friends to pick a side because it's like you know what he did. You know what he like, did. <laughs> why would you pick his side? Because you have healthy friends. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> the healthy friends always take don't take your side. They're like. Well, the thing, Tanisha, is, well, what you told me was, I'm like, oh, damn. Like, why are you a therapist now? I thought you were my friend. There's right? a, when did you get a PhD? The other perspective, though, that other, that next level perspective is important, though. If if we're trying to grow, if we're trying to grow through these things. I, yeah. I, <sighs> yeah. So the gro growth is so uncomfortable. We don't. Growth, oof, growth is very, it is very. Yeah. It's know? the pain for me. It's the growing pains for me. <laughs> <laughs> but there was like listen we talked about your character veronica being the boss that she is right. doing her thing killing it getting billboards just out here okay. just in the in, just in They're the world for those but, like, <laughs> your billboards what's <laughs> the billboard yeah it's the billboard for me but she <laughs> represents so much of what we are used to seeing when it comes to successful black women Mm -hmm. And seeing that, like she, she, be, she's a runner. She's a track star. <laughs> she's gonna run away. <laughs> yeah, oh, wow. she, she, she gonna run away. She gonna schedule sex. Yeah, she just, it's, it's yeah, she doing, she doing a lot professionally. Okay, <laughs> but like people tend to say that women like that choose career over family, career over love, career over marriage. Mm -hmm. Um, talk. Let's talk about that a little bit, especially you, Angel. Why do you think that women do we do that? Well, yeah. we, you think like are we? Am I guilty? <laughs> it, it depends on the woman. You know? I am thirty six, and I think I have chosen my career. I have too. It, it's it's been the career for me since I was eleven as well. I yeah. Think, well, some of us are, are kind of conditioned, though, to, to feel like we have to take care of ourselves from an earlier age or just take yeah. care of others or be responsible, be the strong, confident woman who can handle everything. So sometimes it's just the lot you maybe were dealt. But we saw at the end of season one that Veronica came out of the jail and she was, you know, she didn't have anybody to pick her up. So all her little ting tings were mm -hmm. unavailable to pick right. her up. I had to call like you know a car service which is that's pretty lonely so you know i think at some point yeah maybe we can we can and do put career in our profession that is the priority but maybe at some point you know because i think love can be scary so i it, it, it's I, I it's, just, it's so it's, you're asking so much of me <laughs> risky it's, love can be risky so i feel like if people people like veronica who likes to be in control love is difficult because that's like that's opening up the heart space and you're not necessarily as in control once you open your heart so i do believe that women men people in general can get to that point where they you know she's a runner she's a track star <laughs> you know like go ahead and get these checks get these homes, build these houses 
And sometimes it does seem easier to do that. Yeah. Just having to align yourself with someone else's life is just seems very shackly. It seems very shackly, but I have so many different situations. So when it's right, it's right. And it will align and both people will want it to work. And I, I'm just a firm believer that if it's meant to happen, there's no way that it's not going to happen. Right. So I, I feel like if it's not working out, it's just not meant to work out, which is true. When I look back at, you know, you know, over my situations, I act like I'm an expert, but I'm just saying my situations, I'm like, you know what, that wasn't, that wasn't right. You know, like now yeah. where his life went, my life went, it just wasn't right. Just wasn't it. Well, I'm curious because like, I know a lot you, with the actors that y'all like, sometimes when you're not given a backstory, you create one and it kind of mm -hmm. helps you like to push through with your character, certain choices and things like that. So Veronica's like her strong, her strength, her career focus and all of that. Have you put any thought to like where that could come from? What issues she could have been dealing with that lead her into this type of space? Well, there was an episode, a throwback episode where um, uh, they were in a college and her, mm -hmm. co her college boyfriend uh, played by DeVal, he played her basically. He, hum he humiliated her in front of everyone. And he didn't want to claim her because, you know, she, she didn't have necessarily the aesthetic that he that she was used to. And so she was deeply, deeply hurt in college. And I think she, she handled it like, because, you know, a man, I feel like a man can get hurt in like fifth grade and they take that through the rest of their life. They're like, that one girl in fifth grade, she had hurt my, she had hurt my heart. We was going steady. And they like, really do be so sad. Yeah, yeah. Like, wait, when did this happen? Oh, you going to have to get hurt but um so yeah i feel like you know that played a big part in her wanting to you know not wanting to fall in love again her college experience and then you know in my mind i'm like maybe she has siblings maybe she had to take care of people because she just really seems like she feels responsible for making money having power having respect. and i think that you know, that situation had a lot to do with everything and you know possibly her family maybe having you know, anyone to rely on when she was younger? Yeah. I, I have a few I, ideas. Mm -hmm. And that's so many of our stories. And we just be so hard. Yes. <laughs> Building up the walls. Mm -hmm. I think dealing with, let's get into a little bit more of the personal and career conversation when it comes to bigger. Um, getting into Veronica. So... <laughs> I know that we talked a little bit about you having this career, this uh, reality show, now like social girl career that she's going through. Um, and there's a lot more that she's up to in this season, no spoilers, um, to make sure that she stays out there in the zeitgeist. Crazy stuff that she's out here doing for fame. Um, but what do you actually think about fame in this industry and having eyes on you like that and people doing crazy stuff just to go viral and just be out here. I, yeah, I, it's like I think, <laughs> I don't want to judge because I know people do things for their own particular reasons. Like I sometimes, real talk, I just think people want to be famous because people don't want to be forgotten. And mm. I, I don't, think there's anything wrong with that I do believe that there's such a thing as good success so that means there's such a thing as bad success yeah um so you just want to be careful because what profits a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul um but yeah it's I, you don't I, don't I don't really want to be like oh well you know I think it's it's unhealthy or I, people do what they got to do Son, when I saw a pizza rat go viral, a part of me was like, oh, thank God he pulled out his phone and recorded that because I would have never known that something like that could happen. <laughs> the content is for me, too. <laughs> when right. I look at Instagram, I kind of look at it now in a way where I used to have a, I, I never liked to post because I didn't want, I don't know, I, I, I probably just more self-judgment than anything else. Now I'm like, Rashida, it's a community. Like you go on this web, you go on this app every single day. You consume the content, and you don't give anything back to the, <laughs> to the Instagram community. So in, 
sew in. <laughs> he said, I'm a sew into the Instagram community. <laughs> you take so much. You read so much. How many Beyonce videos have you looked at today? They give, it give, Instagram gives me so much. Thanks. So in. And not and not for nothing, I'm a fan also of uh Tavia James, Dwayne Wade, and oh Shady Baby. So cute. My favorite thing so to follow cute. on Instagram. So <laughs> cute. She's one of my favorite Instagram babies. I'm a fan. I love <laughs> <laughs> that baby is just. But she gets shadier every month. I feel like I'm like, wow, you get How really. How she know like sarcasm and nuance. She's been here before. Yeah, she had to have been here she before. That's the vibe. That's definitely her vibe. She, when she like, was not supposed to, this is such a, a a tangent. But when she was not supposed to eat the snacks, the little bitsies, and they left them for her, and you know that trick they leave mm -hmm. the room, Mama leaves the room. The auntie it. didn't even leave the room yet. Yeah. And Tavia was like, what? And her face was very like, um, <laughs> what did you think she I was, was like, going to do? Girl, I, I haven't left the room. And she was like, well, bye. <laughs> Look, I was going to do this anyway. <laughs> I was going to do this right? Anyway. Like, I don't so. understand this game. <laughs> and it's so high when she asked, do you know, you know you're beautiful, right? She was like, yeah. <laughs> of course. Like, wow, I love but that's, that. See, and, but that's the beauty of social media. Like seeing people instill that type of self love into their very small children, like that's and that's impressive and motivational, and I think also something that people maybe like could learn from. Because I know, like, no shade to my mama, because she's always told me I was beautiful, but I don't remember knowing that at that age. Yeah, you know what I mean, and what that could do to someone. So there's like a lot of evils to social media and becoming something and the hashtag but there's so many really great things out there that people could like latch on to right and if we're well. intentional if we're going to be on the platform if we're intentional about putting more light into social media then i feel like we can all contribute to having more of that more positive imagery more good things and less things that cause evil and darkness come on you better bring it, girl. You know I've been sitting with Tracy a long time. You got to justify. <laughs> you got to justify eating crab legs until you, your face blows up. <laughs> so, you know, she be doing it for the gram. And I really sat with that. Like, what should that, what does that mean for me? Like, what should that mean for Tracy? Why is it important enough? It, it, and it had to be purposeful. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, why would she leave this incredible, you know, not, it's not an incredible job that she has on the show to the producers keep playing her, but she's getting money and Tracy likes money. So in order for her to walk away from that bag, she has to be walking in some kind of purpose. Some people think social media is vain. Tracy has found her purpose in it. See, look at you, just take it and, and spin it, sis. <laughs> Spin it, flip it, reverse it. Spin it. Well, what do we have to see more from Tracy in her journey and this growth that we are, are obviously getting to see within the second season? Oh, well, for those who don't know where she has come from, she was dry as a bone season one. She ain't have no romance, no nothing. She was very focused on her work. Um, so season two, I, she, she's leveling up work-wise and maybe even personally and I'm just saying if Tracy gonna be with anybody just know he gonna be fine that's all I'm saying I'm excited <laughs> <laughs> that's exciting that's good enough for me, <laughs> for me. Yes. if he gonna be fine I will take it um, <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> we can talk about Vince a little bit. Can we talk? Oh, cousin Not Vince. Here. Cousin huh? Vince. I said Cousin Vince. Cousin Vince. <laughs> um, there's a passion going on, but like, he ain't really making money. <laughs> <laughs> no. Leave DJ Vince alone. He loves but he, No, he's trying. His time is coming. His friends are successful all around him. So he's like, you know, the energy. Yeah. But he's not there yet. And I'm sure, like, all of y'all can relate to that, especially as actresses in this industry and, like, not getting there, especially earlier in your career. How do y'all deal with... Now, this one is, like, 
I'm going to take notes with this too because I need to know. But experiencing, like maybe even you experiencing success or your friend experiencing success before you and like just how how do you deal with that as a friend and then and we'll get a little bit more into events but how do y'all deal with that in real life be happy for them because it means you're next if you are you know, the, you know the five people you're closest to be happy for them and yeah you know, the time is coming clap yeah. for your people yeah genuinely yeah it, 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 if if it can happen for them, it can happen for you. I feel like, you know, when I was younger, I used to wonder, like, well, is, it, is it something that I'm doing wrong? Like, because they're moving so fast on their course, and what am I doing wrong? You know, so I would, I would kind of beat myself up, but I would always, I was always supportive. I've always kind of just been the supportive person who truly yeah. yours cannot be taken. And, but at the same time, I would beat myself up, like, but am I doing something wrong? No. <laughs> like, the Lord, <laughs> but what am I doing wrong? I think sometimes though self obsession like like obsess obsessing over being a better person can sometimes just be draining. You know, mm -hmm. so sometimes you just gotta know when to say when. Say I'm good, I'm I'm great as I am. You know, I don't need any improvement yeah. that right now. But um yeah, just honestly cheer everybody on and because you really realize that that energy is is contag is contagious in, in a good way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, positive energy. You need that. And I think yeah. also that it it it's too much of a comparison. Like I don't know how many people I, I guess a lot of friends do hang out with a lot of uh maybe like minded like career friends, like you may be in the same space. But even in the same space, we are all so uniquely ourselves. Mm -hmm. So comparing and being like, dang, how come they it's just so purposeless. <laughs> Yeah, it's unproductive. Like it doesn't do because it's like, well, that's them, right? And they're <laughs> in their journey, right? And yeah. it should excite you as a friend. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. girl, what? your fingerprint that always amazes me. I don't know why that amazes me that there's millions of people, billions of people on this planet, and no one has the same finger fingerprint. That, yeah, that is truly something <laughs> special, and it's it's enough to let you know, like you are uniquely you for a reason and what you have to offer is not okay. going to be the same thing that somebody else is offering right exactly no one else sees the world through your eyes so uh -huh. we need that perspective we need that story so i think it's i think honestly with all of this it, it really is a choice it's an intentional choice to keep mm -hmm. the positivity at the forefront of your mind because it can be difficult sometimes you have so many different images and messages coming at we all do so many, you know all during the day we don't even realize how much we have coming at us that's like that's will be extra beautiful be this be extra that you know you, it, it sounds easier said than done sometimes but it really just takes focus i guess focus yeah. on your good great qualities even yeah. if you feel like it's just one build off the one and then more will if you build it, they will come. So mind your business also. If you mind your business. <laughs> that that's one. the main one. That, that will help. But you know, these people, we say that, but then we have all these platforms where it's like, we want to tell everybody our business. But when it's inconvenient, they'll be like, uh, oh. right. How am I supposed to mind mine? <laughs> you have my I'm stories like every that. time. I'm at the point now on social, I'll be posting my work and leaving. Right, right, right. But I do. I'm like, I can't. Same thing like, I, do. I love y'all, but it's exhausting. It's I can't do it. It's too much. Like, I know way too much, too much about people who aren't even in my life. Like, right. I know that you got married. I know you're on vacation. I know that you hate carrots. Why do I know that? <laughs> like, what? We get updates constantly on so many different people's lives a lot it is a lot that's why i'd be like listen i'm a post i'm a leave and i'm just gonna deal with like real life over here and mind my business and mind my business <laughs> as much as i can lord please <laughs> really give us the much as, to mind our business it's, listen well speaking of minding business is is vince going i mean we, we know what's going happening in the season two without giving it to the people but is vince gonna pull it together you, you, the trailer. I mean, you did the peep peep with the. We car. saw. Y'all was about to say we saw some wealth. Yeah. 
He knew money. He, he's he's working hard, and hard work does pay off at some point. Whether it's know, if you haven't watched season two yet, Vince, something's going on. In his <laughs> it gets good. <laughs> and I need answers. Oh. <laughs> That so, was one of the things I remember reading the script and being like, oh my God, this is where he's going with this? Oh, right? Hold on to your seat. <laughs> Listen, just know they got some stuff up their sleeves for this season, y'all. And I would be remiss if I wouldn't tell you to make sure y'all are going out there to watch it on the BET Plus. Bigger season two than while you were at it. Just watch season one. Get yourself familiar with it. it. And if you watch it before, start it again from the beginning. Just start from one. And just go, go straight to into it. Because yeah. I think I recommend that because honestly, they really do just jump right in season two. So I think start, go back. We're coming um, in. What's that? I said we coming in hot. Yeah, y'all y'all might want to explain it. Yeah. Watch your whistle a little girl. bit. Yeah. <laughs> She came in swanging on season two. So now the friend group, in, within the friend group, there's Lane, Vince, and Dion that have similar career stories or journeys to one another's. Um, and Lane is doing some things on season two, which oh, is yeah. exciting in the oh, yeah. boutique. Um, and then Dion with the code switching and being undervalued in the workplace. Vince just knowing that he couldn't do corporate life and but all of y'all had the thread to follow your freaking dreams and to like really take a leap and do the thing that you want to do um and I'm curious like what what was the last time in your in your career in your life that you needed to follow your heart and create or and take a leap in order to create something new I straight up almost quit acting like right before I booked this. I was like at a point where I kept, I was like really frustrated. It was like, I, I was getting these auditions and it was like this young black girl who was getting her ass kicked. Like this young black girl who was getting murdered. I was like, okay. And then I would get like really awesome comedy stuff. And then I would get really, 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 really far. And I'd lose it to someone extremely famous. So the message I was getting was there was a very specific way I got to exist if I wanted to have a career. So it got to be this pilot season where Bigger was in there. And I was like, look, if I don't test for something I like, I'm quitting. Like, I literally put that out into the universe. I was like, if I don't test for a show I like, I'm done. I'm going to be wow. a pastry chef. So this happened. I'm not a pastry chef. <laughs> look, it did not put you in the, uh, into the bakery. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't. But yeah, uh -huh. that was the last time. Like, I was really, I told my manager that story after I booked. And he was like, do you know how close you were to getting a job if you had quit? Like, I would have um, Right? <laughs> right? Like that meme. I should have talked digging, to him. I should have had a conversation. And I didn't even know it was one dig away. I had, had no idea. No freaking idea. <laughs> wow. Well, I'm glad you didn't quit. What, what would even, I mean, other than getting it. What would make you stay though? Like, um, no, it was at that point, it like was nothing. nothing. I was done, I was tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in my mid 30s, <laughs> I'm tired, girl. <laughs> tired of putting on makeup. About, like, I know we <laughs> talk a lot about the rejection because that's such a part of it, but just trying so hard and seeing role after role be just like really. Because it's the high highs and low lows. Just yeah. Like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh my yeah, y'all are something different. Y'all are y'all made different. Yeah. Black actresses. Y'all cut from a different cloth. Spicy. Spicy. Yeah, <laughs> just because I, I I I'm really my brain is stuck on that idea of you looking at the all these roles across the board, and they're just, uh -huh. and it's like this is what <laughs> we're like. <laughs> Yeah. And I'm really trying to be this thing, but not everybody gets to be Gabrielle Union. Not, you or know what I mean? Tracy Ellis and, Ross, or you know what I mean? Yeah, like, though, like getting roles that are, oh, 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 this is different. I couldn't imagine reading role after role of being like, either I'm going to be a slave or a beaten woman on drugs. Or completely naked or completely, and that's, that's naked. totally fine for everybody who wants to be naked, but I don't want to ever be. So that was like a thing where it was just like, oh yeah, you gotta be full nude. I'm like, what? I tested, I like got really close to something. I found out the day of the final callback, my character was nude. 
So I'm in the callback, like, oh my God, I hope I don't book that. <laughs> Girl, I'm here, I need to but how much can you push back on that? It's you know that's all. That's really just spicy too. Let's just yeah, say that tough. that is spicy too. Y'all handle it like very well. I, what about y'all, Angel and uh, Rashida? Like the last time you've had to take a leap and create something for yourself? Um, I would say about nine years ago today so um this is my anniversary today um oh, april 22nd from in 2012 april 22nd 2012 i moved back to new york dropped out of law school and moved back to new york to pursue acting full-time and um i probably humiliated my parents you know because i left law school and they were bragging to all their friends that Sheeta was in law school and I was going to be an attorney and I quit and moved back home to my dad's house and was like, yeah, I'm going to be an actress instead. It's something I've always wanted to do. And to be a hundred percent honest, I never thought that I wouldn't make it for some reason. I was just like, I thought it would happen quicker because I had no concept of what was about to happen with me. But, um, I was very deep into my journey when I first had the thought, oh, wow, people do this and sometimes it doesn't work out. Like I had already, I was maybe already seven years in, five years in before I even had that thought for the first time. Um, the rejection hurts and the rejection sucked. And I mean, it still does. I still audition. I still get rejected for things, um, things that I really, really want. And I started writing because I felt like if I could write, I could always create opportunities for myself. Writing sort of picked up for me before acting did. So I, you know, started writing in writer's rooms on shows until I, oh. I booked the CBS showcase in 2019, which is where Robbie Reed found me. And that's how I ended up on Bigger. Um, Robbie cast me in Bigger. But um. Shout out to Robbie Reed. Let's Shout out to Robbie Reed. Yeah, we love her. Yeah, she's an angel. So, yeah, I. That's crazy. Yeah, that was the last time I jumped out the window. <laughs> Y'all, if you're not hearing anything else on tonight, just hear that it is worth the jump. Period. Yeah, it's always it. worth the jump. It might not look like it at first. <laughs> That jump be like high, be high. Up. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna die, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> Did I just jump out a window? And the, the baby steps. There is no parachute, board, right? <laughs> jumps are are pretty important too. You know, what's that? The baby steps that lead to the 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 big jump. Those are important too, and I think for some of us, those are the the most difficult. Uh, steps to take sometimes just take those baby steps because it feels like you're not getting anywhere but it's like mm -hmm. baby, step, baby step baby step big leap <laughs> you know what I mean right. like, you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. but the baby steps are definitely a big part of it too because it's a starting point but yeah. some people might get lost in them baby steps and keep tipped huh right right, right. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's super important for us to just consistently just, I guess, reevaluate our, re our goals. Re now I'm, I'm going through this right now. Just just reevaluating everything. Like, is this still what I want? Is this, does this make sense? You know, because Don't you leave us now. No. <laughs> I would never forgive you, Angel. <laughs> no, but I'm saying. You know, Not now. Just in, you know, I don't work too hard, too long. I mean, yeah. We know. We have seen you working hard, sis. Yeah. And uh, what does your leaping look like since you you're in the middle of some switching you said some changes yeah i mean i say that sometimes it's it's really just um following your heart i guess it has a lot to do and, and taking leaps has a lot to do with sometimes things that make sense to others and it seems like oh this this would, this would make more sense you know this <laughs> on paper why wouldn't she want to do this or why wouldn't she you know do this situation sometimes just really being guided, just being guided to what's best for you. So I feel like anytime we take a stand and say, this, this is what works for me. But to me, those are big leaps time that that happens. But um, I mean, of course, anytime you move, because I moved to, to LA from South Carolina with my mother. Oh, shout out to you, Carolina girl. Carolina girl, yes. But at 11, I didn't 
there was really no one that I knew. We knew no one, honestly, from wow. South Carolina that had moved to California or in California from South Carolina. We were literally like, we had no one to to for, to ask for guidance. You know, we had no real blueprint. We really just, we just decided that this is the we needed to make. So that will always and forever be one of the biggest things. And I'm glad I did it at such a young age because if I was older, because I, you know, at a younger, you're old. It's like, oh, you're not thinking about yeah. things that might not go your way. So if I would have waited a little bit longer, I might have, you know, gotten you talk know, yourself you, out of it. Talk yourself yeah. out. Mm -hmm. so you know yeah got you to and to wrap the conversation up first of all thank you for everyone that's tapped in on this instagram live tonight with the female cast of bigger our beautiful ladies rashida angel and tanisha uh and myself danielle young journalist here on behalf of exo nicole um, but I also want to make sure that y'all are tapped in to watching bigger yes. on bet yeah. plus like we said earlier, season two is here, but that don't mean you can't go back to watch season one and gear yourself up to get into this season. So make sure y'all are doing that as well. And I wanted to wrap up the conversation, our little girls talk here on Exo Nicole by using the word bigger. Mm -hmm. So we talked about leaping and those dreams and, and, and making those moves. But this is going to be, I guess, imparting words to people out there, whether they're aspiring actresses or anything that they're looking to do, what are, what are the mantras, maybe one each from y'all, that allow y'all to dream bigger, to make sure that you're doing things in a big way? Mm. I, I think be as authentic to yourself as possible. Was I supposed to use bigger? Oh, man. No, I, no, no. You're not supposed okay. to use <laughs> Just be authentic. That, that's that's going to allows guide you. you to be bigger. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Authenticity. All right. Uh, it's a scripture in, in Psalms 91. My God in him I do trust. I say that to myself a lot because okay. I need faith a lot. It, I feel like he gets tested a lot. So <laughs> I know every time I, I'm scared or I need to make a decision and I'm, I have fear, I just know that I can trust God. Amen. Yeah. And last but not least, our queen angel. I, I mean, you know, I, there's a few, but basically I just like to remember that I am divinely created for a divine purpose and I'm always protected and, and, and amen. So, amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Ladies, that was amazing. Someone's asking what streaming platform that is BET Plus. Get you some. Some good stuff up there. Um, but thank you so, so much for coming through on Exo Nicole, giving us some girl talk. Congratulations to all three of you for, for one, booking it. <laughs> right. Booking the job, understanding the assignment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and just being such amazing black women that we can look to and see what happens when people really keep going in their purpose so i'm just so grateful to sit here with y'all today and to share this space so thank y'all for being vulnerable and open and just being y'all thank you so thank you so much for having <laughs> us like that's so sweet thank you thank yes, you too. of course anytime we'll have you back anytime so thank you guys all for being here thank you to the powers that be at will packer productions and at, at some nicole i'm danielle young make sure y'all are following each one of these ladies and thank y'all so much all right have a wonderful night y'all bye night, night, everybody thank you keep going yes why am i trying to do this from my laptop okay <laughs>